在这里合一个影。After 365 days of waiting, the day has finally come. That morning, at around 5 a.m., the whole family got up and started some last-minute packing. After a brief breakfast, we went downstairs to the basement and there we waited for David's father to pick us up to go to the airport. This year, our plan is to have me taking Joyce and David to the camp first. Then, in three weeks' time, there will be another three kids from our school flying from Beijing to join us at the camp. The three kids will stay at the camp for three weeks only. While me, Joyce, and David get to stay for the entire six weeks of the camp. Obviously, the two kids were very excited, and they just sing along. I must say that David's father is a very brave man. I say so because he is a rare example of a parent who is willing to risk letting a friend to take his seven-year-old kid and fly half a world away from the U.S. and be away from home for six weeks. Prior to the takeoff, there have been many parents who expressed their concerns about letting their kids do such an extended trip. Many, if not all, struggled hard but eventually gave up on the idea of sending their kids. On this aspect, I would say that the American parents seem to be more daring because they are more willing to let their kids experience living and lead independent lives early on. We also always wanted to take any opportunities of doing so, and that's why this is the second year we are sending her to this all-immersive camp. More importantly, we are so certain that her English will be improved greatly, and we have no doubt about that. So the cost of sending her to such a camp is totally worth it. The people at the check-in were very helpful. After learning that the kids are heading to a summer camp, they put us in three of the best seats available, and all three of us will be sitting together. As soon as we sat down, the two kids started playing video games. At first, I thought that these high-tech electronics would need an adult to get involved, but to my surprise, they handled it quite well themselves and got it done in five minutes. After takeoff, the two kids just started doing various things of their own. At one moment, they were making friends and talking to other people, and the next moment, they were playing games or watching movies together. Are we having fun? Uh, good. This is Xiao Wang Yi Zhu Jiao Bai. What would you like? Uh, beef. Beef. Oh, yeah, beef for him also. Honestly, I was very doubtful about myself that I could handle these kids well. I believe that some of the mothers were actually waiting to see me cry. 
Everyone knew that I was a very capable person. I used to be a manager at a high-tech company. I also used to be a handyman at home and planted beautiful roses. I even built a gazebo in my backyard. They even knew that I have a general contract license for building houses, so practically, I am allowed to lead a team of people to build houses from the ground up. But all of these have nothing to do with taking care of kids on a trip like this. Right at this moment, when I see that the kids are all on their own and they don't need me at all, I started to feel sad that I have nothing to do now. I would like to watch a movie, but sadly, I have put my notebook at the bottom of my travel bag. For U.S. Customs clearance, claim me bags at carousel number one and two. First time in the U.S.? Huh? First time? <laughs> yeah, uh, he's the first time, he's the second time. Oh, okay. Don't shake your hand, because we have to take the car. After 13 hours on the airplane, we arrived in Chicago. What surprised me was that the two kids didn't seem to be tired at all. I told them that our next task was to quickly find our luggage and to get on the next flight. They responded to my instructions cooperatively and really seemed to act like adults. Before I knew it, we were on the plane from Minneapolis. How are you when this is a short flight? flight? After only one hour, we landed. As soon as we walked out of the baggage claim, we were received by Zach, a bunch of other kids, and a few counselors. On that same day, Zach picked up 19 other campers who arrived from different parts of the U.S. Joyce was very excited to meet her old friend Isabel. <laughs> So what we would like to have happen is to have, if you have like a suitcase like this, that's nice and like boxy, we'll and just we'll move it over. What about if you have a backpack? Are there any bags that you don't want? Campers were put on two separate buses. Joyce insisted on sitting with Isabel. All bags were put on a wooden cart and off we went. The weather was beautiful. Blue skies and fluffy white clouds, but the sun is so intense. Although the air was hot, but as soon as we were on the road, that hot air was next to nothing. David at this time had finally fallen asleep along with the roaring sound of the band. The next moment we rolled into a McDonald's parking lot. So we're going to order food if you're hungry. And keep in mind that when we get to camp in about 2 hours and 37 minutes, we're going to have dinner, okay? So if you want to get a little something right now, that's fine. Joyce did not want to waste any time to play. As the crowd got inside, she started playing games with new friends. At about 7 o'clock in the evening, we arrived and were received by a large welcoming crowd. Yet the counselors demonstrated their skill in quickly quieting everyone down and getting them in a line. Before I knew it, we were marching towards the dining room area where we first held a flag ceremony. Oh, 
，然后又排着。And right after, went into the dining hall. We sang a prayer. And then Lonnie did a brief introduction, and then runners from each table started gathering food. You know you are in luck, my man. Because look at how many we have. We have three. Exactly what you're looking for. Enjoy. At the end of the dinner, someone at one of the tables started singing a Mulan song, and everyone sang along with them. This was an amazing scene. Since this is the first day at the camp after a long journey, I thought that after dinner, the next logical thing to do would be to let the kids and go to bed. To my surprise, however, as soon as the dinner was over, everyone gathered at the big ball field and had a new round of games. Everyone was excited, they were running and yelling. I am even more surprised that both Joyce and David were equally high-spirited and didn't show any signs of tiredness. One could never imagine that they just had a 26-hour continuous journey all the way from China. <laughs>